All right, all the dogs have ran and hid. Just had a fighter jet come over and scare the badooties out of me. All right, got the tools set up. Let's go inside. Well, welcome to the channel. Back at it. My air compressor set up. All righty, righty, righty. All right. As much as I look at this cabinet frame, I'm like, it ain't straight, man. It ain't. It, it, it looks like it's leaning that way, but the levels don't lie. It's level. So maybe up in the ceiling or something, I'm off. I don't know, but I'm going with it. Now, the first thing I need to do, since I put these on here, I don't really have a lip now to put my bottoms on. So I need to measure where. The hood has the holes to mount under here and then cut me a couple pieces to go across so it has something to screw into and then I'm going to uh, nail some little pieces cleats on here and then I'm going to cut the bottoms for the shelf, for the bottom shelf and then we'll get the top shelves and then we'll start framing uh, the cedar on there and get the, uh, get the vent hood uh, put up. You see I ran me some wire for that. That is hot, that is ready to go. That goes into a box that's in the vent hood so that won't be seen. And then I'm gonna just get the rest of it framed out. We'll see how far we get. Also would like to get start on this but don't know if that'll be today. So let's just set the goal of getting this pretty much done. And if we don't, we don't. But I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna film in spurts. I'm gonna do a little work and then i'm going to come in show you what i've done um, you know step by step it's not a tutorial just showing you what i've been doing so first things first we'll get these supports uh cut get some cleats on there and get the lower shelf and then get the the vent hood you know i'm not gonna mount the vent hood yet but we'll get the thing faced out in cedar all right i got the bottom in that's two pieces uh, notched around these and I've got them fastened down with brad nails uh, these are uh, 18 gauge what's the depth uh, inch inch and three eighths so nothing huge I do have uh, bigger ones if I need them but for doing this that's all I need now and I also put in where the uh, where you screw up the vent hood, I've got some cross beams that also provides extra support up here. Now I need to probably measure about halfway up and put another do the same thing as I did there and put another shelf up here. I don't have to. I could just have one open shelf like that, but I think I might as well take advantage of it and and do two. Uh, I may move my spices over here. Who knows what I'm gonna do and once these these two are on then i can start putting the face on so this will cover all this uh, i think i did yeah that one's not a good example at all yeah so it's gonna look something like that i i left a little lip here i don't know why maybe to keep stuff from falling out i made a lot of mistakes on these they were the first things i ever did with cedar like this stupid notch you know <laughs> this will all be straight across uh, and then the, the two pieces here and that's basically all there is to it and then I'll put a top on it so we can stuff junk like that up there so that's all we got to do so none of this ugly pine will be seen but it's a good strong uh, sturdy structure uh, I'm curious to get the fan up there and I'll be able to finish this today if I quit goofing off with this camera and it's humid, man. Whew, but I got to get it done because it ain't going to get cooler. All right, let's go. All right, let's do an update. Right, the first shelf on here. The second shelf. Uh, they don't have to be super high. Like I said, most are probably going to be spices up here. Small items. Uh, actually, I mean, I could fit plates, whatever I wanted up here. Uh, now the fun part. Part where it starts to look like something. We're going to start putting the trim and all that facing on. Get the vent hood on. Get that wired up. Uh, I'll be able to turn on my vent hood light tonight. Now, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, and I did get it in the questions. 
The vent hood is ducted and ductless. You could run it either way. You can see they've got a punch out, so if you want to run it ducted, you can. I'm opting not to put a hole in my house. So I've never had one here. I've always cooked here, never had a vent hood. So what it does, it, it takes it up in the filter and it recirculates it, recirculates it. It will suck the smoke up. So that's all I care about. I'm very careful when I cook most of the time. All right, so I'm gonna start off putting these long pieces on. And we'll cut three pieces here. Well, one, two, three, and then we'll fill them in. And I am using new cedar, so you're gonna notice it's a lot more red than this older stuff. Uh, I don't want holes or anything else in it. Plus, when you're using this old stuff, it's very brittle. And, but I am using these brad nails, so shouldn't need any more screws from here on out. And uh, I'll come back. I'm going to take a little break and come back and uh, show you how I do this. It's starting to look like something, huh? I still say it's crooked. But the levels ain't lying to me. I put three different levels. And when you're doing cabinetry, these are your best friend. Uh, these little torpedo levels. I mean, that dude's level. It's probably the ceiling. Now, I can kind of see that bowing right there. So, once we get the face and all that on there, as long as I know it's level, I'm cool. I'm going to sweat the small stuff. I am sweating. Okay. I'm just cutting these one at a time, taking my time, and that's a good fit there. Okay. I'm just using my finger to make sure that they're pretty level. Right, that looks good. I'm trying to pick pieces that have good looking knots and stuff in. Well, I put this one on. This is the. You know, I have to take some sandpaper. There's like a scuff mark there. But some knots, and once this stuff dries like that stuff is, once it's. Uh, then those will pop out a little bit more. All right. And that's on there good. I should have swept that off, vacuumed that off. Now, I'm going to get this piece measured and then the top piece measured. These are obviously thicker because you got the shelf on there. But that is how I built every one of these cabinets. Just a little, you know, piece here, piece there. It takes time, and this, like I said, that's why I said this kitchen build is going to take forever, because it's tedious work, I want it right, and, you know, I don't want any problems. Alright, and it, I could take a little bit of sandpaper on these, and, and it's cut, you can't see these little nail holes, it beats screws. You don't want to use screws on stuff like this. Uh, so let me get these three pieces across. And we'll come back, just, you know, try not to film so much to bore you, but I want you to see how I'm doing it. Because, you know, when I did these cabinets, obviously, that was years ago. I wasn't doing my videos. And, you know, but I got better tools now. I got a lot, you know, it's going to be a lot easier to get these done and better. And, you know, this is the sawmill pine. It's ugly, but... It ain't going to be seen. All right, let's get this piece and this piece cut. After I get those on there, I'll come back. All three of those pieces are in place. Now I go to do the shorter pieces. Now here's the issue with these. Cedar, green cedar, it's going to shrink. It doesn't shrink a whole lot. Uh, but it it will shrink. Let's take a look at up here. You can see that was not built that way. Okay, neither was that. But it and it and it will shrink. So what I have to do, and I had a terrible table saw when I built these. It was not square. It was terrible. 
But what I got to do now is they just have to be as tight as I can get them. And then they'll be fine. They, they shouldn't shrink that much. This stuff's already been sitting a while. So I can already see it's changing color up there on top. Uh, so I'll get all those cut. I have to need to kind of look at these so I can kind of keep. Yeah, that's exactly how I did those. And so then it's going to start. And then we're going to get the top on it. And basically all that's left is the sides and the doors. And I'm not going to build the doors today. Uh, we're going to get that hood on there today and get that wired up. So let me go cut, measure these all up, get them cut. All right, I've been saying all along, this don't look right. It don't look level. It just didn't look, it doesn't look right. It doesn't go. So I put a level up here across from here to here and it's a quarter inch off and well I've got a line up here I should have went all the way up to the line instead of a quarter inch from it so I've got every screw removed except for one so I need to take one out here in the bottom and then I'll be able to lift this dude up where it needs to be okay she's loose Let's get this one, this side up first. Oh. Right. Right there. <clears throat> okay. Now, and I'll bet you after I do this, it'll look right. See that? When something don't look right, it usually ain't. And it wasn't. All right, what do I got? I need my level. I had to pull this shelf off to get to the bottom screws there because they were angled that way. All right, here we go. Yeah, man, that's perfect right there. Don't move, don't flinch. Oh, get it in there. It's heavy. Oh, yeah, man. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's level. Now, if I step my little honey back, <laughs> little honey. Well, I ain't got one. Oh, yeah, I can already tell you. It still looks off. Oh, why? Why does it look? It's got to be the ceiling. I mean, levels don't lie. That dude's dead on level. So we're going to go with that. I'll tell you what. Yeah, that's why. There's a bow here. I wonder if I could pull that up. Oh. All right. So we're level. Just going to have to live with it. That's as level as you get it. Everything's level. All right. Yeah, I did. I got these pieces on. Uh, let me show you. Got them as tight as I could fit them. And they are going to shrink a little. And I really don't have a whole lot of room here for hinges. And that's all right. God, it just, it looks unlevel. I think when I get all the walls finished, it'll look better. But it is not unlevel. I mean, it's just not. That dude's level. So we got to go with that. But it was not level with the top of them. So if I step back. And, you know, this, this whole wall is out of, out of level. And I just don't, I ain't liking it. At all. But it's, if I stand straight in front of it, yes, it's perfectly, it looks perfectly level to me. It's just this corner. So maybe when I finish this, put this arched doorway in, that's going to fix all how that looks. And I'm sure it's just an optical illusion. But uh, I guess that's as good as it's going to get. Well, let's, let me move on. Let's get this vent hood hung. i got to find some screws that'll work for that. All righty. Vent hood, and let me tell you, that was a battle. It, it wasn't hard. It was just trying to scooch down, get those screws in, and wire this thing. 
Oh my god. That's gonna be good on the knees and back. So we got this on. Power is on. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Van hoods are working. Oh, do we have a light? We do. Alright. And that is not exactly centered, but with the electrical wire where it was, that's where it had to go. I mean, that's close enough. Uh, when the doors and everything, nobody cares. Okay, I care. And I don't care. When you don't care and you care, you don't care. I think. I, I don't know. Alright, so that's done. That's accomplished. Wired up. She's vent hoodie. Now, it's just got a regular standard light bulb. I need to get an LED bulb because everything else now is LED. And But I do got a whole case of those light bulbs. So that, those, these are cool to leave on in the, at night. You know, it doesn't blind you out. And But well, I ain't going to do that until I got uh, an LED. And I got these night lights that come on, you know, at night. And they'll light up the whole kitchen. Those are nice to have. All right, what I am going to do now, I'm going to get a couple pieces of 2 by 4 and go across here. Actually, I don't even need to do that. I am going to put cedar on the back because that looks terrible. I mean, when you open the cupboard, I don't want to see that. I want to see cedar. So we will cover that. I'm not concerned about this. I could cover this in cedar. I'm not real concerned. That don't look too bad. You know, it's just going to be for It's going to be crap in there. You ain't going to see anything anyway. You know, this will be stuff like probably olive oils and oils, what have you's, what nots, and there and there's. Let's go see the do, the rooster doodle. You know she's parked, starts warming up, she don't want to be in here. And I got to get the AC on for those dogs in there. Well, you got anything you'd like to say to people today? No? They didn't want to say nothing to you either. Well, all right, let's go check on this. We got a couple more. I got to see what time it is. See, she didn't even eat her dinner yesterday. 1.37, so they don't eat for another hour. Oh, there's so much work left to do, guys. This, this arch ceiling is going to be nice. It's going to be really nice. Uh, I still say that looks crooked. I took a tape measure. I measured from the top of that metal to the cabinet, top of that metal to the cabinet, and it's nine and three quarters. It's dead even. The level says it's even, <laughs> but it ain't even, man. And I know it has probably something to do with that wall being out of square. I should have just tore the whole wall out when I started this and redone it, but I didn't realize it was that far out of square. Uh, it was terrible. And I don't know, man. This just... Hopefully when this is all done, it looks right. It don't look right to me. But it is what it is. Uh, just, you know, doing the best I can with what I got. They're not liking that. I'm done with that. Oh yeah, I'm just turning the air conditioner on, all right? I didn't want it on because we had the air compressor going, but I'm done with that. All right. About an hour from supper time. Oh yeah. Tell you what, with that plastic I put up there, it is it gets so cool in here now. And you know, same with heat. So I may just close that off and just put storage up here. I don't know. I mean a good thing about it is the heat will rise up into there because cold air wants to fall and heat wants to rise. So if I leave it like this, that heat. I mean, the way I have it just works great. But I could build a loft or something up here. Huh. He don't care as long as it's cool. Now, let's go see them other goofballs. You listen to me. I don't know if you wear a Timex, a Seiko, whatever. But I'm going to tell you, it ain't right. It's always an hour fast. Because it ain't time. Where's your sister? Why do you like to lay in that junk? You got all this room, and you like to lay in the sawdust and the tools and the junk. I leave that there because I might need some of those boards. That's her favorite spot. Don't ask me why. But, you know, that's kind of a good spot. It's got cedar dust. Keeps the bugs away. But 
not you. You like to stay clean and tidy. All right, guys, sorry, that's it. That's what I got done today. So we'll get it out there to you, and uh, I'll get these dogs fed, and I'm gonna rest. And I'm gonna eat my spaghetti for the fourth day in a row. I made too much, and I ain't wasting it. Happy trails.